Oke, okay. halo guys. Assalamualaikum. Ini kerja mulai tambah. Oke, okay, this time we don't have font. <coughs> Lebih rute or customize, uh, but we have font that break. Oke, okay. this is the let me six. This is serious code name, and it has been break. Oke, okay. as you can see, I already open the back case and remove the screw and unplug the power source okay. if we plug in the cable here okay let's try it I'm plugging the power source it will not turn on okay it will just keep vibrate and now display the screw okay so <clears throat> we're gonna try to unbreak this device using a different method okay from the previous video that I've show you I have unbreak our MediaTek font such as setting 6a using the python script okay this time we're gonna use another method okay we're gonna use the mtk bypass okay uh, this device can unbreak lots of MediaTek device that usually need an out count okay now it will bypass the out okay let's unplug okay you can see it will not turn on okay okay all the file and instruction i will put the link in my okay. let's check in the description box okay <clears throat> First thing you need to do is in the case the screw and on top the power source like this. Okay. Download this file and this file, creative file. I will provide the link. Okay, the first thing you need to install this on the USB. Okay. If you haven't installed it yet, you need to install. Okay, just click next. I tap like this. As usual, next, next, okay, <clears throat> and you do not need to launch the filter install result, okay, just uncheck this one and finish, okay, I'll finish, and you need to open this file, the MTK bypass, okay, just open it, <clears throat> Okay, now you can see the apps is like this. Okay, this is the MediaTek Bypass tool by MCT team. Okay, we created, created all for the MCT, MCT team. Okay, not mine, I'll just show you how to use it. Okay, it can bypass lots of MediaTek device like MT6572. G six seven three five etc. Et okay, <clears throat> and for this example, we have uh, let me six serious. Okay, so how do you know what processor are it using? Okay, you can always use Google to find out your processor or SOC sim of uh, chip. Okay, or you can download <coughs> the from well okay i'll show you this is the let me six serious what you don't not the from well put it in here okay this is serious you can see here this is the installer the passport as well i mean the passport image you can place it using the passport if the device already unlocked okay go to the image and you will see a text file Let's uh, start with empty blah 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 like this. Let's call Android underscore scatter. Okay, you can see this is empty 6765. Okay, so our Redmi 6 series is using the MediaTek processor or SOC MT 6765. Okay. <clears throat> okay, after that, open this apps and select. Your SOC type, okay. 
that is our CPU is MT6765. Like the same as we see. Okay. And then after that, click the bypass button right here. Okay, now you can see waiting for broom. Okay, after that. Okay, make sure you have unblocked the power source. Uh, hit the volume up button like this and then plug the USB cable okay as you can see now there is progress in here and it says that protection disabled okay so now we are ready to flash our brick pawn okay let's minimize this one and open the SP power store <coughs> Okay, let's see. Now we are in the SP class tool. Let's check the version. Okay, uh, the class tool that I'm using is version 5.1916.00. Okay, so always can try another version, but I'm using this one. Okay, okay. Not agent, it is select the default MT underscore all in one underscore the aid dot bin. Okay, the let select the scatter file. Okay, <coughs> select the scatter file that fits for your phone. Okay, because we have already have various image in here, so let's copy the path. Okay. And click this one, this scatter loading file. Click choose and paste it. Okay, you will see uh, three or <coughs> more text file. This is select the scatter file that like this empty blah blah blah, like this one. Okay, and now it's loading all the file. The first thing you need to do if you have an unbreak device, you should try just to flash the preloader. Okay. So we need to uncheck all of this and just check the preloader. Okay. We're going flash just the preloader. Okay. If it must success. If it's not success, you need to flash all the file except the preloader, okay? Like, let's try the first step first. The preloader, make sure you have pressing disable like this. Then, download. Okay, you can see the progress bar in here. Okay, <clears throat> because we just flash one file that have a Small size, it just take over one second. Okay, close this one. Okay, unplug this USB cable and plug your power source again. Okay, okay now let's try to <coughs> turn on the device. <coughs> Okay, seems that it's not working. Okay. This to be noted, we should try to flash the preloader first. It will save your time. Okay. Okay, it doesn't work, so we have to flash all the files except for the preloader. Okay. So we must start from the beginning. Select your A so see here six seven six five hit bypass. Okay. Lock the power source. Hit the volume up and plug in the USB cable. 
Oke. Okay. Kita isi protection disable. Open the test tool. Start the scatter like before. And check all the file except the preloader. Oke. Okay. And hit the download button. Okay, so we don't need any auto account. Uh, request an MC or etc. Oke, okay. we'll wait for several minutes until finish. Okay, nice. As you can see now, it's already finished. You can see the check green button here. Let's close that one. Okay. And then let's plug the USB cable and plug the power source. Okay, let's try to turn on the device. Okay, nice. Now we have successfully unbreak our device. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's wait for several minutes until it loads into the Android home screen. Okay, as you can see, it supports a lot of device MT6572, etc. Okay, so will not just show me phone okay also the Oppo, Oppo Realme maybe that have some well <coughs> mediatic device that in the list okay okay let's try to check some of the Okay, let's expect me of a pro. Okay, want to know the SOC? Okay, this is CPU device. This is just an example. Okay. Let me not a pro, it's using the MediaTek. Okay. You can see here <coughs> we're using the the tech helio the tech helio g g ninety g okay while we we're waiting for the phone to be put it okay let's put under the tab and paste it Okay. 
okay. If you're confused, you can always directly uh, download the firmware to check the scatter file. Okay, let's try another keyword. Okay, take a G90 scatter. Okay, let's try this keyword. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's in the it's kind of lost. Okay. <laughs> Let me just show you the format. Okay. This one. Let's try a little file. Okay. Android. Show me. Okay. Let me not. Pro is using the MediaTek. I will just uh, okay, this one. Okay, let me not add pro. Code name is Begonia. Okay, let's check the stop file. Okay, this is the firmware. Not key image. You can see. This is the S S O C okay the M T six seven eight five okay M T six seven eight five okay this one so we also can flash the Redmi Note eight Pro without using the auto count okay uh, try another file. Uh, Okay, if I'm not mistaken, the Redmi 8 also MediaTek. And, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the Redmi 9A. Okay. Okay, let's check the stock room. Mets. Okay. This is using the MT6765. Okay. MT6765. Okay, this one. So you also can press the Redmi 6A using the tools. Okay, there is a lot of LCC that's supported. You can, okay, use the common sense. Okay, you can see now. <coughs> already in the Android wizard okay we have successfully press stop from okay okay thank you guys that's all i hope you like my video if you like please hit the like button and i also have a last video about creating a custom rom just check my other video and i will really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel okay thank you very much guys have a, have a nice day. Assalamualaikum.